she's not there. Roll your shoulders back, roll your shoulders forward. And I'm just gonna put her on mute so everybody else is on mute, okay. All right, you're gonna take your arms and open them, close them. Squeeze your shoulder blades, on oh, this one. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. I just muted you, ET, sorry, nothing personal. And take the arms, cross, open, cross, open. A couple times here, good. Sexy hair, haircut, uh, bro. Covering your one eye, very Veronica Lakeish. Anybody remembers that? In three, <laughs> no, two, and one. And then take the arms up and just sweep them behind you, all the way up and sweep them behind you. Michelle said the essays workout was very sneaky. I don't know if you all feel that way, but um, yeah, may hope of but uh, sorry, not sorry. In three, two, and one. Put your hands on your thighs and do some cat cows. Release the back a little bit, round the curl. And then we're gonna step the legs a little bit wider. So roll up, step your legs a little bit wider, and just lunge side to side, sticking your hips back behind you. And to this, you can add some shoulder rolls again. Get your legs even wider, so it's a nice wide stance. Turn your toes out, hips out. Keep it rolling back for five, four, three, two, and one, stretch your arms in front of you, press the arms away, scoop your tailbone underneath you. Inhale, stretch your arms up and lean to the right side. Come back in, lean to the left side, hi Cindy. Come back in, all the way up, roll it down. And you're kind of ready, just keep moving as much as you can. Um, we're just gonna do two, two um, what kind of supersets? Uh, 15 reps of everything. First one's a bicep, second one's a tricep extension. If you don't want to do a tricep extension this way, you prefer to do it this way or on your back for skull crushes, you're welcome. So get a moderate to heavy set of weights. I am keeping my weights low personally today, but um, for you guys, I want you to work in that heavier range if, you, if it's all possible. <laughs> Close that door, man. All right. So pick up your heavy weights. It's a fairly simple in, uh, in explanation workout today. 15 bicep curls and then 15 tricep kickbacks. If you need to change the weights in between because your triceps are maybe need a different set of weights, grab them nearby. All right, here we go. 15, three, two, go. 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 12. And again, if I go too fast, 11 or too slow, just know you're doing 15 reps. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more for the biceps. Now hinge forward, bend your elbows, kick backs, the same thing, 15 and three, two, here we go. 15, get a nice hinge forward too. Three, four, keep the elbows in close. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last five, four, three, two more, and one. Good. All right, you can put your weights down. We've got 45 seconds of a cardio move. Um, I'm not doing any jumping. If you want to jump, you're, you're welcome to jump. So you're going to separate your feet hips width apart. You're going to do a basic squat and you're going to add a jump into it. Now, if you don't want to add a jump, you can just come up onto your toes and go up and down or just squat. All right? So, legs apart. Get ready to go. We just have 45 seconds of this. I shouldn't have told you. Three, two, go. So it's a squat jump or a calf raise. Just keep going. What it is, I want you to move your arms. I want you to keep going. Good, Karen. Good. Make sure you land safely, toe hold, heel if you're jumping. Yeah, bringing the arms up higher is going to get your heart rate up higher. Keep it going. Drop your hips as low as you can. There you go, Maria. Woo, look at you guys jumping. Keep it going. You know, Cindy, I can't see you, but I don't know if you're there. Uh, 15 seconds. So you're either squatting on your toe. There you go. 
10, keep it going, 9, I'm coaching you today, 8, 3, 2, rest. Okay, easy peasy, grab some water if you need it. We're going to repeat that one more time, and then we'll move on to the next set of exercises. So everything's going to be repeated twice. We are doing 15 reps of everything. Fairly simple in that explanation. Okay, bicep curls, heavy weight. Bend your knees, if you're going to lean, lean forward, don't lean back. All right, here we go in three, two, and go. 15, one, two, and I don't want to see any swinging. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you got five, Four, a little enthusiasm. Three, two, one. Change weights or not. Hinge forward, bend your knees. Elbows go back behind you. Kickbacks in three. Elbows in two. Go. 15, 14, 13. Tuck your chin to your chest. 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last one, and done. Good. All right. Stand up. 45 second squat jumps in three, two, go. Down up with a jump on your toes. Squat, hold a squat. Just keep moving in some fashion. Keep doing something. Good. Make sure you land toe both heel. Like you don't just slam into your heels. Good. Keep going. If you use your arms really big, even if you're not getting off the floor, heart rate's going to go up. That's what we're looking for. Just a little cardiovascular. 15 seconds. Good. Good. When I say jump, you say hi, hi, how high? Five more seconds coming up, ready? That was a song I played last night. Four, three, it's appropriate today. Two and one rest. Okay, simple, simple. Same thing, big exercise, big muscles this time. Bent over rows, okay? And then we're gonna do a rear fly. So they're both in the same position, both working the back side of the body, rear delts on the flies. Check out the weights that you want to take for those. Again, you can change weights in between. And then we'll have a little bit of a um, cardio set. All right, so pick up your heavy weights. Big muscles. You can have your hands facing in any direction. So you can have your hands facing your body, facing away from your body, or facing each other for the rows. All right? The only thing you want to keep down are your traps. You don't want to lift your shoulder blades up to your ears. Bend the knees, hinge forward. Get into that position in three, two, row. 15, 14, squeeze your shoulders together, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1 more, and done. Okay, so rear delts. Smaller muscle, okay, you might want to change your weights. Get back into the bent over position. Hinge forward, three, two, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two more, one more, weights down, stand up, put your hands on the floor, on a bench, on a ball, we're going to do mountain climbers, we're only going to do 30 seconds, mountain climbers, let's do them cross body, so the knee goes to the opposite side, and you get a little bit of the, the, that oblique action, alright, here we go, down, on the floor, 
Knees down if you need, arms down if you need. Three, two, go. One. Now you don't have to go fast. You can just go side to side here, or you can pick up your pace, whichever works for you. Keep it going. That's it. Pull the knee all the way up to the elbow. Very good. You got ten seconds. Ten. Keep going for five, four, three. Two and one. Coming up. Easy peasy. And you just get a little spank in that heart rate, right? Just enough to wake you up. You know, for like 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> All right, pick up your heavy weights. We're back to the bent over rows. Maybe change your hand position to the on the second set. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, bend the knees, hinge forward. I'm going to change. Three. Two, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand up. Rear delts, maybe a smaller weight, maybe a bigger weight. Bend over, hinge back in three, two, actually, hold on there. Let's change our grip on the rear delts to palms facing open. Okay? Palms open, supine grip. So, yeah, rotate the shoulder. Three, two, bend over, go. 15, 14, my feel. A different feeling here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last five, five, four, three, two, one more, one. Break it down and come down onto the ground. 30 seconds of mountain climbers, cross body still. All right, on your hands, on your forearms, on your knees, bring your knee to opposite elbow. Stand up on something higher. will be a little bit more satisfying for some. Here we go in three, two, go. You can slow it down and just bring knee to elbow. Still get that work through the obliques. Sometimes sm uh, slower is better. I like it better. Um, just a little bit more dedicated movement. But faster is going to get your heart rate up more. So let's keep going. End of the five, four, three, two, one. You're up. Good. Okay. Moving on. Hammer curls. Bicep palms facing each other. Okay, heavy weights. No swinging, please. From a bicep curl, we're also going to do an overhead press. So have a lighter set of weights to do, or drop to one weight. Okay, either way. Hammer curls first. In three, two, go. 15, 14, control. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. So as I said, you can go to a single weight, stay with two heavy weights, just know your body, where you want to be at today. All right, so it's an overhead press, and then go to a single weight. Right, as opposed to a light set. Bend your knees. Again, hinge forward. No arching back. Abs and tight. Three, two, go. Press up. 15, 14, 13. Now, if you have two weights, you can have the palms facing each other or rotated or straight up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Just shoulder height, Karen. It's hard to tell. Five, four, 
three, two more, two, and one. Okay, clear a little bit of space for yourself. If you have a mat, you want to go the long way of your mat, just so you can go side to side for skaters. Um, check out your wrist, your wrist okay? I have the same thing, just do a little of this. All right, so we're gonna do some skaters, ready? Stand at one side, jump to the other side, go. Jump, jump. Now, you can also touch down and do a little bit more fancy skating, right? But reach across your body, either way, and stay as low as you can. Good, Maria? Yeah, well, some of you look like pro skaters there. Good, so it's just that lateral movement, that outer hip start-stop action. Reach across the body. You got five, four, three, two, and last one. One, second down. Good, all right. Again, all right. So that works, this outer hip area, that stop-start action of acceleration and deceleration, firing up these other muscles that um, they, they need to be turned on sometimes. All right, hammer curls. Hinge forward. Slide bend the knees. Three, two, we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, no swing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last one, good. Single weight, two weights, heavy light, no weights at all. So if you have two weights, palms can face each other, palms can face away, or even some Arnold presses. All right, from the shoulders up overhead, in three, two, we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, keep going, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two more, and one. Weights down, skaters side to side. Oops, see, all right. Start at one end and go to the other end. Go in three, two, and go. So big step, if you have a mat and you have the space, I think ET, you have that space. I can't, it looks like you have space. Everybody looks like they have space. So get side to side, get a generous width in your legs. Good, Michelle. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Good. Ooh, Karen, looks like you got a long, long span there. Keep going. Yeah. 15 seconds. You could also do, if you have to, a grapevine or a side step. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, okay. Okay, lightweight. Well, no, not, not, not necessarily a lightweight. One heavyweight, two weights, again, same kind of thing. Upright rows, arms come up, elbows higher than shoulders, elbows higher than wrists, no breaking at the wrists. So I don't wanna see the, I don't know if you can see this. I don't wanna see this kind of lifting with your hands like this, All right? So keep the wrist straight. No change in the wrist action, okay? Pick up one heavy, two heavy, two light, one light, no weights. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Upright one, two, three, four, five, don't strain your neck. Six, I see a little of this happening. Seven, eight, 
9, keep your wrist straight, 18, 10, 11, try not to let it break down there, 3, whoops, 14, and 15, good row, two weights, watch your feet there, Missy T, yeah, how they just fall out of your hands, <laughs> okay, as long as you're okay, um, you're going to use most likely one weight, but some of you might choose to use two weights. Your arms are at your chest height. It's like you're going to toss a ball forward, right? If we were on our back, we'd call it a chest press. I'm going to call it a chest push, but it's going to really be a little bit more of your shoulder action. So one weight at your chest. Push the weight forward. Press it out, okay? In three, two, go. 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, hold on to those weights, 7, 6, 5, that's it, lean forward, not back, 3, 2, and 1, good, okay, put that down, you've got, here's your choices, full on jumping jacks, side tap, low impact jumping jacks, or hands on the floor, plank jumping jacks. Pick your poison. We start in five seconds. In three, two, go. Now, if you're doing jumping jacks, low impact, that's cool. Just keep the arms going overhead as high as you can. Good, nice big arms, guys. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. 30 seconds. Good. So really, I just want good work, guys. Good, Karen, smart. Low impact. Plank jack on the floor. Even tap out on the floor. Just add some more shoulders. I know we did a lot of shoulders yesterday because we were in body weight in three, two, and rest. Okay, good. All right, back to the upright row. Again, hold on to the weights, please. Uh, don't break your wrists. Keep them nice and firm, up and down. One weight, two weights, no weights, blue weights, I don't know. All right, bend the knees, hinge a little forward, hips back in three, two, go. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, if you feel tension in your neck, just let your chin come down, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1 more, and good, um, chest push, instead of a chest press, we'll call it chest push, hold on to the weight, from your belly your, or your chest, you're pressing forward. In three, two, go, press. Two, three, four. Try not to lean backwards. Five, six, little hinge, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, jumping jacks on your hands, knees, standing up, uh, low impact. Choose it up. Three, two, go. Again, low impact. Again, plank jacks. I love these sometimes, I like them. I know it's just more work on your shoulders and core, but um, they're a nice variation. All right, you're halfway, no you're not, you're almost halfway there. Keep it going, big arms, big arms. Yeah, there you go, E.T. Oh, Michelle too, good, 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 good. All right, keep going for 10. Stay on it, stay on it. You woke up, you're here, you gotta stay with it. Five, four, three, two, and one, good. All right. 
take you down to the floor. It's not what I have written, just so you know. But I'm going to take you down to the floor. So, from the floor, let's throw in this set of just some straight abs for now. Lay on your back. Hug your knees in for a moment. Yeah, change your cameras so I can see you. And I'm doing a little back stretch because you know how I love that. My back calls for almost all day long. All right, so first thing we're going to do, take your hand legs up in the air. Put your hands, some of you, under your back. Some of you right by your side. You can also hold on to the two edges of your mat if you'd like. Right? So the legs are straight up, let's call it, you know, 90 degrees here. And then move them out about, not even 45 degrees, but about a third of the way. Belly and ribs down. You're going to open your legs. Whoops, I guess I'm not going to open there. You're going to open your legs and then cross, cross. Open, cross, cross. Switch the cross each time you do this. Um, yeah, if you'd like to put your back on the ball, lift your hips up first. Go on your back, then lift your hips up. It's easier. All right, so legs up in the air. Stretch your legs out in front of you about a third of the way. Hold on to your mat, underneath your hips, or by your side. In three, two, we go. Open, cross, cross, one. Open, cross, cross, two. Open, cross, cross, three. Open, four. Good. Keep switching the lead leg. In other words, the leg that goes on top. Five, six, seven. Now, the lower you bring your legs, the more challenging it's going to become. Eight. So, see where you want to go with this. Nine. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, one more, 1, and in. Good. All right, keep your legs in the air. This time you don't need your hands underneath your hips, but you're welcome to keep them there. Open the legs out to a straddle. And if you have your hands accessible, hands in prayer in the center of your on legs and then shoot into Charlie's Angels, your first, your thumb and forefinger create that Charlie's Angels point. I don't want to say the other word because I don't like that word. Open up the legs, head and shoulders lift, 15 pull throughs, go. 15, four, or you can pull your dog through, three, four, five. Now, bonus if you lift your hips up, eight, nine, ten, five, Four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. Everybody take a spinal twist. If you're on the ball, just you know, either take the ball, take it with the ball or release the ball. And switch to the other side, spinal twist. So we're gonna go back to the scissors with the legs in the air. You start up here. Now you can do this straight up in the air, right? You can do this a little further out, or you can do it even further depending on your back, right? Um, the stability you can maintain and uh, what's going on in your back. All right, yeah, the hands under the back are going to help, but then I always feel like, why, why bother, right? If you need your hands there, it's not going to be the most efficient exercise. So bring your legs up, shoot them down to whatever, at whatever angle you feel comfortable with. Well, or uncomfortable with. In three, two, open, cross, cross. Open, one, cross, two. Open, three, keep going. Four, five, six, high is going to be safer. Seven, eight, you've got to keep working on pulling the ribs down. Nine, ten, five, four, three, Two, one more, one, and in. All right, legs straight up in the air again. No, I did not finish my workout, but thank you for asking. All right, open your legs to a straddle. Hands in the center, point your fingers, first uh, thumb and forefinger release. So it's a steeple finger. Head and shoulders up, maybe hips up, and pull through, go. 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, head, shoulders up, 9, 8, if you need a hand behind your head, put it there, 6, 5, 
four, three, and one, knees in. Okay. All right, take one or two heavy weights here. And if, uh, if you want to go lighter, you go lighter. We're going to do a pullover. I don't have to move a little bit on this one. So I want you to touch the floor with your hands behind you. And as you come up, push the weight up over your chest. So head down, arms back. Come up, head up, arms up. All right, so it's like a two-in-one exercise. All right, if you um, want to keep your head on the floor for the lift with the arms, it's a chest. So it's kind of like a chest press. So it's a pullover, chest press, but we add the crunch on the chest press. All right, arms up overhead, one or two weights. Just make sure you can control the weights. When your arms are up here, this is the beginning of it, your back wants to arch. So when you pull it back, your back really wants to arch, so you've got to keep the ribs tucked down. All right, arms up in three, two, and one. Tap behind you, come up, push up with your arms, head and shoulders up. Back behind you, two, push up. Three, press, four, press, five, pull over and a press, and a crunch, six, seven, Eight, touch the floor behind you. Good. Don't forget the, the dedicated press cap. Nine, bring it down to your chest. Oh, maybe you can't do that. And 10, you got five more. Four, three, two, one more. Up, back. And down, good. Take one heavy or two heavy, one light, two light, no weight, skull crushes. So, um, legs on the floor, legs in the air, straight or bent, arms up. Elbows bend 90 degrees, you're gonna bring your weight to your forehead, behind your forehead, or if you have two weights to each shoulder. Okay, in three, two, we go. 15. All I want to see is no movement in the shoulders, two. Point your elbows to the ceiling, three. Four, belly in, ribs down, five. Six, seven, eight, into your frozen, I hope you can still hear me. Nine, 10, you got six, no, you got five, four, Three, two, one more, and one. Good. All right. So, second round of that happening. But, but, but first, but first, lay on your back. Let's bend the knees. Hands behind the head. Keep the knees bent without extending the legs. Elbow to opposite knee, stop in the center. Right here we go. I'm gonna do that for 30 seconds. Head and shoulders up, belly in. Maybe the hips are up. Three, two, one, go. So it's a bicycle without the legs extending. Back to center, side to center, side to center. So get a real dedicated lift and load rotation. Keep it going. 15 seconds. Moving. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Grab your weight again. Weight or weights. Start with the pullover chest press crunch. Get ready. Tilt your pelvis. Arms up. Touch the floor behind you. Three, two, one, go. Touch. Come up. Press and do a crunch. And then bring the arms back overhead. Pull over. Press and pull back. Three and back. Four 
and back. So pelvis, five and back, six and back, seven. Try to press straight, if you can press straight up to the sky, or you like to carry going on the feet, that's good too. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, and one more, fifteen, and back. Bring your arms in comfortably. Choose where you want your legs to be for your uh, skull crushes. Arms up, legs your choice. Imprinted is safest for the spine, right? The pelvis is neutral. Good. Three, two, go. 15 of them, good ones. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, two, and one. Good. All right. Put your weights down carefully. Hands behind the head. Legs up, let's straighten the legs this time. And move them a little further away. Lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Side to side through center, lift your hips up. Three, two, go. Side to side. Out and around. Oh, Michelle, you're doing bicycles. That surprises me, okay. Bicycles are always welcome. In fact, we'll all join you in 10 seconds. Let's do that. Here we go. In five, add a bicycle into this motion. And now, go side to side to side to side. Keep going, keep moving. Get that rotation. Lower legs, more challenge, but also, again, more challenge on the back. Always want to be conscious of your back your hips, your knees, your shoulders, your neck. Keep going, you've got five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. Let's get some good dedicated stretches going on here. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Cross your right leg over your left leg, just at the ankles. Stretch your arms in the air, reach all the way back behind you. Push on more space. And take a hold of your right wrist with your left hand and just hammock yourself over to the left side. Get a nice long, all the way from your right underarm pretty much to the outside of the right ankle, all the way down the right hip. And then come back to center and switch it. Cross the left leg over and reach up and over. And then come on back to center. Bend your knees, release your feet. Bring your knees up to your chest. Pull them close to your body. Tailbone down. Push your face, stretch your feet towards the sky. We'll go into like a happy baby. So open your knees on the outside of your waistline. Grab a hold of the bottom of your foot or if you don't want to touch your sneakers, just the top of your shoe. Pull the knees down while you press the feet up, tailbone down. Breathe in, open up the inner groins. And then release your feet with your hands. Bend your knees, pull them together, open the arms to a T. Shift over to your right side, let your legs come down. If you have the space, you can stretch one leg, the top leg, or both legs to the side. The left arm will go back behind you a little bit higher, a little bit more bent, so there's a good front chest shoulder stretch. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. Bring your knees up. Shift your hips over to the left side. Twist. Maybe extend. See, I'm the one who doesn't have space today. 
Extend the right leg or both legs out. Take the right arm, bring it up a little bit higher. And then we bend the top leg. Bring yourself back onto your backs. Take the, um, let's just actually come up to sitting. Come up to sitting. Take the soles of your feet together now. And then take, take a wide diamond shape. Take your hands on the inside of the diamond, out around, and fold forward. Again, into the loins, the hips. You can do this on your back. You can totally be staying on your back. Hold in for three. Empty out two. Breathe in one. Walk your hands back in. Draw your knees back together. I don't care how you do this. Put your hands on the floor. Bring yourselves up into a forward fold. Bend your knees softly. Let your chest rest on your thighs. Head hangs down. Shake out your neck, yes and no. Shift the weight forward and back a little bit. And then tuck your chin into your chest, round your back, and ragdoll to stand all the way up, bring your arms with you. Big reach up and over to the right side like you did a moment ago on the floor, but we also did in our warm up. Come back up and go to the other side. Come back up, open up, chest, shoulders, squeeze your arms back. And then pat yourself on the back. You're done. Stay strong, stay fit, stay healthy. We'll try to.